My name's Tim Barker. I am a professor of media technology and aesthetics at the University of Glasgow. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my paper, Michel Serre and the Philosophy of Technology, published in Theory, Culture and Society. Um, so Serre, Michel Serre, I find to be an absolutely intriguing uh, philosopher and he's appeared in one way or another in practically all of my work um, since since my PhD work really and then in my first book Time in the Digital and my more recent book Against Transmission says right there front and center and it, it's m mostly to do with the way he thinks about time and temporality in my in my earlier work and how he allows us to think about the time of say the digital present in my case, as made up of multiple different times, multiple different experiences, different histories, different memories, all coming together to consti constitute the contemporary moment, the contemporary digital moment. So the digital is both old and new, both very fast and very slow, um, uh, thinking on these kind of multiple scales of time, both archaic and up-to-date at the same time. More recently though, my interest has been around some general questions in the philosophy of technology, and that's where this paper comes in, and thinking explicitly about how Michel Serre talks about the relationship between technology and being human in the 21st century. So um, in Serre that mostly happens around his, what other people have referred to as his humanism period, which includes books like Branches, um, The Incandescent, um, Hominescence and Thumbelina, um, where he starts to talk explicitly about technology, where his, his kind of focus of attention really shifts. Um, and in those books, he kind of draws out some really, really important ideas around some kind of key terms that he, he, he writes about uh, uh, exo-Darwinism and hominescence, two things which he takes from his modulation of the French paleoanthropologist André Leroy Goran, and I write about that at length in the, in the paper. Um, so in the paper, I look at really three kind of main kind of kind of um, ideas that Sayer develops around technology. One of them is around the world object, so objects like, say, the atomic bomb or the internet, objects that expand over the entire globe. One of them is what he calls technologies that set sail from the body, so it's kind of like in the tradition of like McLuhan Media Studies, objects or technologies that were once designed as stand-ins for function of the body functions of the body like um, the blade for the teeth or stone for the fists, leave the body and find new functions in the world. Um, and the third thing I look at in the paper is um, information technologies and um, Serre's argument around new forms of pedagogy that are necessitated by new technologies. So. In general, we can say that like around about the beginning of the 21st century and towards the end of his career, Michel Serre sees a world where the phil old philosophical concepts of subjects, objects, bodies and their limit really need to be rethought in quite radical ways. Now, of course, this kind of drive to anticipate the new scenes for knowledge is nothing entirely new in Serre, right? He's, He's, throughout his career, he's looked to, 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 re, to reinvent philosophical concepts and ideas. So he often begins his thinking on the outside, or in the outside, or um, from the ground up. So thinking about experience in the world, experience as told in myths and stories, and then generalizing philosophical ideas based on that. So, for instance, he does that in... in, in um, his book on the parasite or his books on angels where he quite radically rethinks ideas of communication, mediation and exchange. And likewise in his Foundations trilogy he rethinks the forming of collectives and the dualism that usually accompany the 
way philosophers talk about the subject-object relationship. Now, in his humanism period, which is of such interest to me, he re there's, a, there's a dramatic, sh a, a distinct shift occurs where he starts to focus on what he calls a new technologized and culturized world, where he starts to investigate the loops formed between technology and the human, and he makes an argument that technology is changing the human species, and because of that, a new project is required for philosophy. And that project is to understand the human through an understanding of technology. So technology becomes a kind of mediation through which to understand the human. And that's where my paper comes in. So I hope you enjoy it, and that's all from me.